Arkansas State Drug Director Kirk Lane says it's common that drug overdose deaths do not get a proper investigation. Sometimes they're not even pursued. THV 11's Ashley Godwin joins us in the studio now. Ashley, he and several Arkansas agencies are taking more direct measures and training to ensure families can get justice in these cases. Arkansas has one of the highest opioid prescription problems in the country. According to the CDC, providers wrote more than 100 prescriptions for every 100 people, nearly twofold the national average. Arkansas law enforcement, prosecutors, and the state pharmacy board are noticing the amount of overdose deaths in the state and are rethinking how to investigate these instances to catch the criminals and get justice for families. So the fact that somebody overdosed on a drug doesn't need to be the last point of that investigation. Arkansas Drug Director Kirk Lane noticed a negative trend when it came to investigating drug overdoses. Yeah, the majority of cases that are done on an overdose now um, are not being pursued whatsoever. A lot of times because we don't have the skills to. So he's teamed up with several other state agencies to create a new training to better prepare investigators. It's basically to teach and enhance the skills of law enforcement investigators, whether it be federal, state, or local law enforcement investigators, to investigate past an overdose. Including going after the dealers. Drug dealers or an overprescribing doctor or some kind of incident that has criminal liability has not been pursued like it should be. If you look at people that are abusing heroin, a lot of the people that are coming in contact with fentanyl today in the illicit manner, they actually started with prescription drugs. Even the State Board of Pharmacy is learning new skills to fight opioid abuse and drug overdoses. In partnering with law enforcement and partnering with other regulatory agencies is trying to help see where there are patterns of potential abuse, where there are patterns of you know, drug theft or drug diversion throughout the state because we have a lot of the information on where the pharmacies are and who's in them. Can't be done by I responded, the person died of an overdose, uh, I turned it over and, and leave the scene. Those days are done. The training consists of a five-day course talking to state leaders and agencies. The course also consults representatives from other states to discuss how they handle drug overdose investigations.